Prince Harry doesn't really exist to William as he doesn't have room in his soul. Prince Harry's feud with Prince William has reached such a bitter stage that the California-based royal now doesn't exist for his brother, according to a royal expert. The Duke of Sussex first shared insight into their difficult relationship after noting they were on different paths during his last official royal tour to South Africa in 2019. Since then, Harry has further dismantled assumptions about their bond, offering a scathing assessment of their relationship in his memoir Spare. Welcome to Royal Pancakes. If you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe and click the notifications bell, so you don't miss any news about the British monarchy. The Duke and the Prince of Wales have mostly kept their distance from each other over the past four years, with their last joint appearance at the King's coronation in 2023, albeit they sat two rows apart. Royal expert Jenny Bond has dismissed speculation about a possible reunion between the pair as she claimed William has no room right now to focus on reuniting with his brother. Speaking to Times Radio, Bond said, I don't think William gives Harry a thought. I think as far as William is concerned, Harry doesn't really exist. I think William has enough pressure on his heart and his head with his wife undergoing cancer treatment and his father, and the big job, and his kids I don't think he's got room in his soul to worry about his estranged brother. For all intents and purposes, William has disowned Harry. The Prince of Wales has come under considerable pressure since the start of the year as both the King and Kate, the Princess of Wales were diagnosed with cancer, within weeks of each other. He took a temporary leave from duties to be by his wife and children's side but has since resumed official engagements at a reduced pace. Asked whether William and Harry could bury the hatchet sometime in the future, Bond claimed that the Prince of Wales can be stubborn and could hold a grudge against his brother for a long time still. She continued, William is very stubborn, he's very obstinate. And once he's set his mind on something, it's going to be very hard to dissuade him from that course of action. I really hope, as years go by, they will mature into thinking blood is thicker than water but I think time can be a great healer but can also entrench your positions. So much that we have no expectations now when Harry comes over, we don't really talk about whether he might meet William. King Charles made headlines last week as he handed over an important universal symbol to his successor, Prince William, in a ceremony that one royal expert says was a show of unity as much as a symbolic recognition to his heir. The emotive moment happened around the same time as Prince Harry's UK visit, where he met neither his father or brother. The move saw William stepping into the role of Colonel-in-Chief of the Army Air Corps, taking over from his father, a position the King presided over for well over 30 years, reports the Mirror. Sharing her thoughts on this royal move with OK Magazine, Jenny Bond, season former BBC royal correspondent, commentator, and specialist, says the King was making an intentional declaration about the long-lasting nature of the monarchy. Bond said, the image of the king and the future king together sends out a powerful message about the continuity of the monarchy. I think it was an example of mutual support the king handing a highly significant appointment to his older, royal son and Prince William showing that he is ready and willing to take on some of his father's duties as and when the time is right. The king, aged 75, and his eldest son, 41, share a close bond, strengthened by their unique and extraordinary destiny, Jenny revealed to OK. She added, they are the only two men in the country to experience or face the prospect of being monarch. They have only one another to share very particular thoughts or concerns with about this unique role. With Harry no longer part of the picture, William has become closer to his father. As time goes by, I think the king will look to his eldest son more and more to uphold and protect the institution of monarchy. William and his father have not undertaken an official public engagement together since shortly after the death of Queen Elizabeth II in September 2022. They have also been dealing with both Charles and the Princess of Wales, 42, undergoing treatment for cancer. Jenny suggests that must have brought them closer together, as they confide their feelings and fears to one another. 
Speaking about William's return to royal duties alongside his father, Jenny added, It's lovely to see father and son together, with William towering over his dad, looking youthful and strong in spite of the emotional stress he must be going through with his father and wife under treatment for cancer.